what is up everybody and welcome back to the channel thrift shop in here and today i want to talk about how you can cheaply and easily upgrade your weapons your armors and your augments as you are progressing through the story quests of new genesis so first and foremost for the weapons you will be given a prim weapon when you start in new genesis don't upgrade this at all only upgrade it if it requires you to do such for a quest very soon in the story quest you will receive a set of renaissa gear this will give you an entire set of renaissa weapons for every single weapon in the game and these will be enhanced to plus 29 right away you will use this weapon until at least level 15 in which case i highly recommend investing in an elemental series weapon there are three elemental series in specific the tempesta series the lumiere series and the obscura series these are five star rarity weapons and its stats will be exceptional for your level this weapon will carry you all the way until you reach kavaris and six star gear so depending on the class you play this may be an incredibly expensive weapon since these were seasonal exclusives there's no way to drop them in the game anymore so if that's the case you can opt into limit breaking your Renaissa weapon and enhancing that to plus 40 for some additional attack power. As for those elemental series weapons, go ahead and use the Arcs Visiphone website to identify what weapon series are available for the weapon that you are using. I will leave a link down below to that Arcs Visiphone website. Either the elemental series weapon or the Renaissa weapon will carry you through all of the Alio story and once you enter the story quests in Ratem, you will receive a plus 39 evil coat weapon from Gaiden in the story quest. If you are still using the Renaissa weapon, this plus 39 evil coat weapon will become your new weapon. You're going to use this weapon until you have access to the first five star weapon series. These are going to be available at level 21 and there's three different weapon series. There's Gothica, Fivla, and Quintal. Go ahead and use that Arcs Visiphone website to figure out what weapon series have your specific weapon in them. Investing into one of these new weapons will give you a good attack power increase and a battle power increase. So go ahead and upgrade these to plus 40, and this plus 40 weapon will service you through all of the Retem story quests. Once you complete the Retem story quest line, you will unlock a quest that will give you 10 million experience points and this should get you really close to the level requirements for six star rarity gear. The first six star weapon series you will have access to is called the Sectal series. The Moonlight seasonal event will be out soon and we will have a different six star weapon that you can use in replacement of Sectal, that being called the Codex series. However, we are unsure at this moment about the level requirement for that weapon series. So if it is around level 45, you will most likely use this new codec weapon series in place of the Sectal series, simply because it's going to be much easier to acquire and it's already going to be enhanced with augments on it. If it is a higher level requirement, especially if it's a level 50 or above, you should use the Sectal series for that immediate attack power increase as you'll have a much better time training and unlocking Kavara's story quests. And your last weapon you'll work towards is the seven star Kaisar weapon. This requires you to gather certain materials after completing Rezo's quests. I have a complete video breaking down everything related to this weapon craft. So go ahead and click the link in the description down below for more information. And now on to the armors. It's going to follow a very similar path that the weapons did. You're going to use the prim armors given to you at the beginning of the game, but don't upgrade them unless you have to. You will receive a set of plus 29 Renesa armors at the same time you receive those Renesa weapons. This is honestly some of the best units you'll get without investing some real money into other units. So my suggestion is to limit break them and enhance them to plus 40. To save some money on enhancing, do some ale yellow triggers once you have 1084 battle power and use the plus 20 silver and plus 20 gold prim armors as enhancement fodder to save a bunch of money on enhancement costs. You will use these Renesa units until you enter Kavaris. At the same time you receive that plus 39 evil coat weapon from Gaiden, 
you will also receive a plus 39 four star unit when you get to that point in the Retempt story. You can go ahead and use this unit if you wish to. However, if you have limit broken those Renesa units to plus 40, these are completely serviceable for all Retempt story content. The only reason I would consider suggesting using this new unit is because it is four star, you might get a few battle power more. However, you have probably already augmented these Renesa units and they will be just as good for the time being. At level 47, the Sestato armor, Arga, Shiza, and Belta variants will become available. These are incredible armors that you will use. They have 2.25% potency in two different potency types, plus they give HP and PP. You actually get one of each of these armors from Redboxes in Kavaris. I'll have a link to an image down below that shows the exact location of these three red boxes that contain these three armors. I highly recommend using the armor that you need and selling the other two. These three armors come equipped with an augment called Decold Might, Decold Precision, or Decold Technique. And this augment is pretty darn valuable, so others will pay a really good price for them in the personal shop. This is some really easy cash early on for your account. With that one Sestato armor given to you from red boxes, go ahead and buy the other two for cheap, and then you have your armors for the current end game. Now onto augmenting. This is going to depend on a lot of factors, so I'll do my best to explain myself as I am suggesting certain augments. The bottom line is augments are important because they give you stats including battle power. So this is the cheapest way to get extra battle power that will allow you to progress through story quests as quick as possible. For your Renesa weapons and units, I would suggest using an augment build that looks like these three examples. For the melee build, you can get Magnus Notes by training in the Mount Magnus combat sector. Might 2 and 3 can drop from any exploration sector. Frostal, Daedal, and Dust Souls you will probably not have at this point, However, you can acquire those through mission pass rewards, as well as just simply buy them off of the personal shop. And for the Melra and Meltec doable three capsules, you may have dropped some already, or you may have some level two or level one variants. And as an optional side note, if you don't have any of the capsules that I just listed, honestly use anything that you can add into an empty slot just to get extra battle power so you can continue to progress that story quest as quick as possible. As for the ranged build here, the lab note you would get in Vanford Labs, so go ahead and train there if you are a ranged class. And it's the same breakdown, precision twos and threes you might have from exploration sectors. The Crocus Soul two and three are insanely cheap, so if you want to buy them, go ahead. And the same case goes for the Melra and Raw Tech doables. And for the tech build here, Rizola notes, those drop from Rezzle Forest. If you are a tech-based class, go ahead and focus most of your training in the Rezzle Forest, and you should drop a good amount of these notes. Now, Sega changed up how you can acquire capsules. They have a new capsule exchange system that you can utilize through the Item Lab Enhancement Technician in any major city. And specifically speaking for those stat capsules and those doable capsules, you can actually exchange any set of 10 level one capsules or set of four level two capsules and you should be utilizing this feature so you can get better capsules on your equipment as soon as possible now once you're into retem you should have either a five star elemental weapon or a five star gothica fivla or quintal weapon you should augment this weapon with one of these three builds down below most of these builds are going to require a little bit of personal shop investment if you want to go into these specific builds, but much like the previous builds, you don't have to break the bank on gear that you are going to replace at some point. However, most of these capsules you are looking at are 1000 to 2000 Masetta in the personal shop a piece, so you're really only spending maybe at most 20 to 30,000 on your weapon to have a pretty good build. Specifically speaking, the Gigas Might, Gigas Precision, and Gigas Technique 2 capsules, those should be 1,000 Masetta in the personal shop, so you can decide if you want to invest into that. 
the Might 3, Precision 3, and Technique 3 we already went through. You can use the Item Lab Enhancement Technician to exchange for those. And for melee, buy into a Kvar Note B or C. This is going to give you 2% melee potency. It's going to come with a downside of negative 2% damage resistance, but don't worry, that is not make or break. This is a very good potency capsule for 1000 Masetta. And for the ranged build, you would use Kvar Note B or D because it gives ranged potency. And for the technique build, you would use Kvar Note C or D because that gives tech potency. And as an optional here, you can use one of those doable three capsules if you don't have one of the four listed above. And once you are into Kavaris and you're finally investing into six star gear, you should now begin on investing into the better capsules. You will now be utilizing the capsule exchange for a bunch of your end game augments now. Here are three example builds. In these builds, we are going with level three gigas capsules. Just like how you are exchanging for stat three and doable three capsules, you can exchange Gigastat 1 and Gigastat 2 capsules for Gigastat 3 capsules. And you can get all of these Gigastat 1, 2, and 3 capsules required for this exchange by doing Retem Purple Trigger runs. You should now be investing in level 3 boss souls since they are the strongest potency capsule. Instead of using a stat 3 capsule, you now have the option to go into the prefix stat capsules, those being the stamina, deft, guard, and spirit stat capsules. These are just going to give you a little bit of extra stat for just a little bit more of a cost. You should consider using Alt Seeker to 3 now in your build. This is one of the best offensive capsules that we have, and as an optional, you can go ahead and use Dreadkeeper 2 or 3 if you wish to get some more tankiness or you can go ahead and use Kavaris Notes for that cheap potency alternative. And since one of your Sestata units will have that decold stat augment, you obviously will keep that on your gear and you can go ahead and skip the stat three capsule for that augment build. This build right here is going to give you some nice potency and it's going to allow you to do any end game content. Once you reach max level, you will be able to limit break your gear to plus 50 enhancements. This is going to unlock a fifth augment slot. So at this point, you should have a decent amount of Masetta saved, and you can go in many routes with that final augment slot. I would personally suggest going either of the optional suggestions I've already provided, or even going into a Domina augment since you should have some of these saved up from running rank 2 yellow triggers. If you haven't ran any rank 2 yellow triggers, this is a stupidly easy way to level classes and earn good capsules at the same time. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It would really mean a bunch and help the channel grow. Go ahead and share this video if you think it'll be helpful for anybody else that are starting their adventures in New Genesis. Until next time, guys. I'll see you all real soon.